How's the snoo? Yeah. Are you a happy baby? Are you the happiest baby? Hi everyone, Marion here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing some tips and tricks on how to use a snoo. So the snoo is a relatively new product in the baby world and we have absolutely, absolutely loved ours. So I wanted to make this video because there is just not that many of them out there. So for people who are considering the snoo or who have it and want to learn more about how to use it, this video is for you. If you like it, please give it a big thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel down below because I have a few more snoo videos coming up and all sorts of new and Jewish mom content for you. Okay, so let's jump into tips and tricks on how to use the snoo. So this is the snoo app on the iPhone. It's awesome, I personally love it. It definitely is a newer app, so they're still working on things to improve it, but I have absolutely loved it. My favorite thing is the sleep logs. I'll show you guys what they look like. You just go to, you just go to the menu button at the top and click snoo log and it shows their sleep. Um, let's see if the camera picks it up. So you could see last night my baby did 7.40 p.m. to 6.10 a.m. And it also has his nap, which is 1.20 to 2.55. So I love just, you know, being able to get a snapshot of what really happened. Because sometimes when your baby's up at night, you're like, what happened there? How long did that take? So I love that. And it also allows you to use the snoo without actually going and touching the snoo. So if your baby does sleep in a different room than you, or you don't want to get out of bed or something like that, you can change the settings right from your phone without getting up. Sometimes I would use this if my baby was crying, but the snoo was not like doing enough. I had it on motion limiter, which I'll talk to you guys about. So sometimes when I'm like, okay, come on snoo, let's get to it. I would just use, do it on my phone and tell it to go to the next level. So the first thing I want to say is if you have any questions about the snoo, you should definitely contact customer service. That is one of the amazing benefits of buying a snoo is they have a sleep consultant available for you and they will send you all sorts of helpful information and articles. And in my experience, I did contact them twice, I think, and they were so helpful, so nice. And they sent me a wealth of information, even for a second time mom who I was like, oh, I already know it all. I found their articles helpful and interesting so I highly recommend if you have any questions or need any tips to contact them directly. The snoo has four different levels on it starting with calm going up to level four and I'm going to show you guys what the different levels look like. I'm going to um, strap the snoo sack in because it will not work if this is not strapped in. Okay so I've got my little elephant model at the moment because my baby's actually napping and my toddler son's crib and I didn't want to disturb him for this but I'll, I will show you um, him in the snoo once he wakes up but I want to show you guys how the snoo looks when it's on right now it's on weaning mode so as you can see there's no movement but there is noise let's take it off weaning mode you need to pause it it doesn't really go on and off weaning mode when it's already started go into the settings my baby we're gonna take it off weaning and then we're gonna start the snoo again. And now you can see the motion. This is during calm. This is what level one looks like. Level two. Level three. and level four. So as you can see, the, the baby never actually moves more than a, about a half an inch this way or that way on the flat surface. So it's not actually that much movement for them. It's just a really gentle rocking, but the noise increases a lot with the different levels, which really helps soothe them. So the first trick I want to share with you guys is the bag of rice trick. We use this because my son was sleeping really good in the carrier and in the docketot, but for naps and in the snoo, this is around, I think when he was about a month old, he wasn't doing as well. So I contacted customer service and I had had seen online about this trick and what all you need is a bag of rice I actually ended up using it at the beginning I think maybe a quarter of a bag or half of a bag I just thought it was too much pressure on them but what they explained to me is when babies sleep on a carrier or on their stomach there's a lot more pressure than a one pound bag of rice but still for me he was like too young and it made me nervous so I used 
I decanted it into like a Ziploc bag. This is now way more than I used at the beginning. But all you have to do is take a Ziploc bag or the initial bag of rice, make it thin like this, and then you place it on the baby's chest. And to reduce the noise and discomfort of that, you wrap it in a cloth first. I just used a cloth napkin. You can also use a pillowcase. Um, so I'll show you guys how I did that. So I unfold my cloth napkin. Again, you can use a pillowcase if you don't have one of those. Shake the rice to one side just to make it a little bit thinner. Again, I've decanted this into a Ziploc because at first I didn't use the whole one pound. But if you just had a normal bag of rice, you could keep it as is. And then you just fold it so that it won't make like crinkling noises while they're sleeping. So that's your bag of rice. So that's your bag of rice. And all you do is lay it on their chest like so. Yeah. And then you're going to Velcro them into the snoo with the bag of rice on top of their chest and then you place it on their chest and it's just that like comfort feeling of like mom being there or you know an extra sort of bit of support for them the other trick I used was the towel under the legs trick I'll show you guys that as well and then if you're going to do the under the leg towel trick all you need is a little hand towel and you're gonna roll it up so it creates almost like a little pillow for under their knees like so and then I usually would just keep mine in the bottom of the snoo sack and then when I tuck his legs in and zip it zip it up it's it will rest right under his knees and give him that sort of extra support feeling how's that feel Gory? <laughs> and both of these really help just the positioning of the baby to feel more supported because they are lying on their back a little bit exposed it helps them through that comfort I ended up using these for I think about two to three weeks and then got rid of the rice and then got rid of the under the legs and my baby was totally fine I played around with nursing my baby inside the snoo sack and then clipping him in and pressing start versus nursing him with the snoo sack already clipped in and then transferring him and starting it. What I liked about the second option is I sometimes would start the snoo before actually putting him in so that in that transfer he was already hearing the noise and feeling the motion as I was zipping him in. So I guess I would say experiment with that and see which one your baby's like. Mine liked the first one more when he was younger and the second way more when he was older so let's get into the app so one of the cool things about the app is you can set it to lock on different motion levels you can set it to weaning there's a lot of um, different things you can do within the app so I'll show you guys how that works to start the snoo you can either click on the menu start snoo and then all you do is press this button you'll hear it going right there if you don't want to go through the app you can also just press the button on the snoo So, so that stops it and can also turn it on. And once it's on, you'll see it says the session time and the level it's been on. If the baby cries, the snow will automatically go to a higher level or you could, uh, or you could manually set it to a higher level. And four is the highest one. If the baby doesn't stop crying after a few minutes on four, the snow will automatically shut off and let you know that you need to go get your baby. Another cool trick is you can actually lock the snoo on a level. So if you don't want it to go above a certain level, like if you have a newborn, you're a little bit nervous, even though, again, like the, the website says all the levels are fine. Um, all you have to do is hold down the pause button on that level for five seconds. So let's lock it on level two. So it's on level two. All I'm going to do is hold pause for five seconds. And then a little lock will come up and then the snoo won't go above level two or below it. To take it out of the lock mode, all you do is press pause or go up and down and it'll go back to its normal mode. Another mode you can set it on is weaning mode. If you go into the settings tab and go to my snoo, you see there's a few different options you can get into. So the response I have set as normal. You can also set it to less sensitive or more sensitive. The volume I also have is normal. Again, you can set it to louder or softer. And there's a motion lim limiter. I have it set to on, which means it doesn't go above level two's motion, but it will still go to level two, level four's sound. You can also take that off if your baby needs more help, like if they're going through a sleep regression or a leap. You can also set the log start time. I moved mine to noon instead of the automatic midnight because I liked seeing the log full night rather than having the night go 
where you can't see it, if that makes sense. Anyone who has this new will know what I'm talking about. But basically, midnight's up here instead of down there where it crosses over to the next day. So I like that better. In this new log, you can also click trends and you can see what their average day sleep, night sleep, night pickups, etc., look like weekly and monthly. And then there's a section called stickies, which is just a bunch of articles that you might get sent or updates to this new, so some helpful information in there. You can also change the settings when you ch click my baby to let this new know if you wanna be on weaning mode or not, or if they're a preemie or not, a boy or girl and their birth date. Another nice feature about the app is multiple people can have the app on their phone. So me and my husband both have the Snoo app and can independently control it. However, if you do have two Snoo's, like if you have twins, you will need to have it the app on two separate devices. Although I have heard that they're working on that as one of the updates. So those are my Snoo tips and tricks for you guys. If you liked it, please give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!